Hello there, my name is Tolusha Francis and I am a mental health practitioner. Now, I thought to share something with you as regards communication, especially in a time as this where people uh, are, are going through stuff. I mean, uh, there is a form of isolation all around the world and people are having to lock themselves indoors or just restrict themselves within within their compound you know and we need to be mindful of how we relate with them in times like these because you never can tell what they are going through so i thought of discussing with you as regards communication right so uh, what are the things to put in practice what are the things to consider when you're trying to communicate with someone so i'm going to share three steps with you the first one is you have to ask yourself what you want to achieve what's the end goal right so in times like this when you probably do not know what the other person is going through you don't know what the other person is experiencing you don't know if the person has lost someone or not you need to be very careful of how you communicate or what you even say to such a person all right and so you need to ask yourself what exactly is it you want to achieve with this communication with this thing that you want to say right don't just say things because you feel like saying them ask yourself what exactly do i want to achieve with what i'm about to say what exactly do i want to what exactly is the aim what exactly is the goal uh, of what i'm about to say what i want to achieve now if you're able to find out what your end game is it will help you better in communicating and saying what you really want to say now the other one is do your analysis and that doing your analysis is ask yourself is this person in the right frame of mind to accept what i want to say will this person understand what i'm about to say does this information really help this person or is it going to damage this person now this is important because a lot of times we just say things and we do not think about the potential harm that it might bring to such a person we just feel it's okay for me to say it just because i feel like saying it no don't feel like saying it right be deliberate by analyzing and asking yourself how will this person take it right is it going to be helpful to this person if i share this thing i'm about to share or if i say this thing i'm about to say it or is it going to cause more damage right to the to the life of of this person so you need to ask yourself that what exactly is it that i want to achieve all right with this thing <clears throat> now the third one which is the final one is to ask yourself what mode am i going to use to communicate do you want to do via text do you want to do a video do you want to do a call now people people misinterpret text all right people misinterpret it sometimes when you when you send them text messages all right and so because some people cannot read tones they cannot read what you're saying via text and so it might be a form of misunderstanding when you send them WhatsApp messages or text messages. And so, because it doesn't carry your tone, all right? So, but perhaps you had sent something like, it doesn't really matter. Why? Right. But that person might not read it in the sense of care. Might read it in the sense of you don't care, right? And you're not there to correct the impression. Why some other persons communicate better if sent via text? So you need to ask yourself, what mode do I use to communicate with this person? And I'll still be able to pass the message around, right? So I, I, I really may not be able to tell you how to check that, all right? But I, I, I want you to think about it this way. Don't look at how best you communicate or how you understand things. No, don't look at it from that angle rather look at it from the angle of which is better which is going to be helpful right for me when i communicate with this person at this point you don't have to be selfish with how you communicate or how you understand things no think about the fellow first and go out there and do that
that which is going to be helpful to the fellow so three things what's the final goal as you try to pass that information around secondly analyze the person you want to communicate with is it helpful is it going to be harmful or not and third your mode or your method of passing this person across to the person so they are not misinterpreted and do not cause more harm than good thank you for watching